Hi everybody, we're out here today again with Arms Unlimited and as usual we got some very unique stuff in the select fire world to show you. Um, we're going to show you a couple of guns here today that most people have only read about, uh, fewer people have seen in person, and a whole lot less people actually fired them. Um, we're going to start with something very, very rare, the Beretta 93R. Um, if you look at this, it obviously it looks like a Beretta 92, but it's a little different. Uh, it's a select fire version, essentially. Uh, this weapon will fire in semi-automatic and three-round burst. It has a forward vertical grip that hinges down against the trigger guard to give you added leverage when you fire it. The barrel is longer than a typical Beretta 92, and it's also ported to help control with controllability. The idea behind this was really in counterterrorism units that wanted a very concealable yet select fire weapon, and this gun will give it to you. Okay, let's talk some a little bit about the features of the 93R. Um, fundamentally, it's a 92F, um, but being a select fire pistol, there is no double action on this. It, it's in a sense a single action only pistol. Um, there are two settings. There is semi-automatic mode. For each time you pull the trigger, you're gonna fire one cartridge. If you move the lever down to where those three little dots are, that puts it in three round burst mode, okay? Your safety is independent of the selector. Your safety is back here. So right now it's in the fire position. If I move it down, that's the safe. So you have a, an independent safety lever and in addition to that, you have the selector. Semi-automatic, three round burst. It has your typical slide catch lever, your typical takedown lever, your magazine release button, and like all 92s, it is reversible for left-handed shooters. If you look on the bottom here, normally you'd expect to see a lanyard ring here, but in reality, this has been extended out, and it's actually the adapter for a shoulder stock. And later on today, we're gonna shoot this thing with and without the shoulder stock. There's some benefits, and it disadvantages to, to using one versus the other, and we'll look at both of those when we shoot it. Okay, let's go ahead and shoot for accuracy now. We'll start off on semi-automatic. Um, no big surprises here. It's just gonna behave like a Beretta 92F, which is to say it's gonna shoot very well. And then we're gonna switch it over to three on burst, see what kind of groups we get with this weapon. So no surprises there, just throwing a few rounds down range, it's very accurate, shoots point of aim, point of impact, not a problem. Now I'm going to use the same point of aim, but I'm going to switch it to three round burst. I'm going to utilize that forward grip with the thumb hook, I'm going to hold in the same spot, and let's see how many rounds out of a three round burst we can get on the target. Let's go down range and check it out. So as you can see, obviously, the, the shot group's going to disperse. You're going to get the typical rising of the muzzle, which really can't be controlled on this. It's the nature of the gun. It is a CQB weapon, okay? It's designed for actually much closer distances than I shot this group from. Think a bedroom type of situation. Uh, but even with that said, it still grew pretty well, pretty typical for a machine pistol. Okay, now we're going to go and shoot it with the shoulder stock. Um, we can apply it to the weapon. The weapon can be shot with or without it. It doesn't matter. Um, and we're gonna see what the difference is between the way it handles, the way it fires, and the way our shock grouping goes with the shoulder stock. Now it's pretty easy to install. Just drop it in on the side of the weapon. Once it's in, you push that lever forward. It will hook into the back of the back strap, and now it's mounted. Um, shouldering the weapon, obviously this is gonna go into the pocket of the shoulder. Same grip in the front. There's no cheek weld here, okay? So you just gotta kinda float your head up. Um, typically, this is gonna cause the gun to really even more rock because if you look at where the bore axis is as to where it's at my shoulder there's quite a bit difference in height uh, but the idea was that the stock would give the shooter potentially more control over the weapon um, we're going to find out right now okay now we're going to go and shoot it with the shoulder stock attached and see what kind of difference that makes we'll start off semi-automatic mode take it off safe we'll use the same grip and we'll fire a few rounds get a feel for this Um, I don't feel a lot of difference in controllability. It's a little strange having your face this close to the reciprocating slide. I do feel like I can get my side picture a lot faster, so that may be the biggest benefit of this, but the only way to really know is to shoot it select fire. So let's go ahead and switch it off to three round burst, take it off safe, and let's see what the stock does for us.
So with the stock, I didn't feel like I had more controllability, although I did feel like I could get my sight picture back a little faster, which would, which would mean that I am get, get, got better controllability, but I didn't notice a big difference. What I do feel is instantly the stock wants to slip on my shoulder, so I had to fight hard to keep that back up. Um, I don't know if this is a benefit or not, to be honest with you. I think the end user would have to decide for themselves, but it is an option that's available in the 93R and the user can determine whether they want to use it or not use it.